If you've been flipping through section 1.1, you may have noticed that there are some weird symbols popping up that you might not have seen before. Um, and they kind of look like an upright and upside down horseshoe or maybe, maybe a U. Uh, the symbols look kind of like this, okay? So I want to explain what those are, how they work. This isn't necessarily something that's going to, you know, get you a job in a job interview or show up on your ACT. Uh, but it's, it's going to give us a way to kind of visualize working with different geometric shapes and also to be able to think about how to use correct naming of angles and segments and so on. So a couple of things here. Um, this actually comes out of something called set theory, where you're dealing with different collections of things. Um, and so, for example, I can have set A, which is the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? And I can have set B, which is the numbers 2, 4, and 6, okay? If you think about the words, I, I like word association. Words will make you think about certain things that are kind of related. Okay, so if you think about the word union, okay, first of all, the union symbol looks like a big U, okay, so that should help. So this is read A union B, or set A union set B, all right? If you think about the word union, we live in a United States. We live in a union of states, okay? A union combines things together into a whole, okay? So the union would combine those sets together Anything that's in either one of those two sets would be in the union set, okay? And each thing only shows up once, okay? So our union set would end up having one, two, three, and four. And it would unite with this other set. We've already got two listed, already got four listed, but we haven't listed six, okay? So the union would be one, two, three, four, six. The intersection, if you think about an intersection of roads, it's, it's where roads overlap, right? The intersection is the overlap, the overlap between the two groups, okay? The intersection looks like an upside down U, okay? So union, intersection. The intersection of these two groups would be any number that's in both groups at the same time, okay? So two is in both groups, four is in both groups, okay? It's the overlap between the two groups. So you could say two and four would be the intersection between those two groups, okay? So that's not a geometry example, that's just a number example. Some of you might have seen that somewhere before, some of you might not have. We're gonna do the geometric version of this, okay? Same kind of thing. A union would basically involve any points on both figures combined together. It unites the two figures together. An intersection would be any points that are on both figures at the same time. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to name the shape that's created when we unite things together or when we look at where things intersect or cross over, okay? So that's the idea. So um, I'm actually gonna skip this one and come back to it because uh, you can see here my diagram doesn't have X's and Y's in it. Um, let's start with this one. A, B, intersect C, D, okay? There are different ways to do this. Some of you are just gonna be able to look at these pictures and boom, you, you, you'll know the answer. Some of you are really gonna to have to think about it, okay? If you're somebody who has to kind of think about this, I'm looking for the overlap between these two things, and I wanna give the name of whatever kind of geometric figures created the overlap, okay? You can use two different colors, okay? So AB is this segment along here, okay? So here's segment AB, and I wanna see where it overlaps with segment CD, okay? So segment CD, of course, is, is cutting through here, okay? If you notice, there's only one place, there's one point where those two lines cross over that's colored both green and red, okay? It's not an angle, it's not rays, okay? There's literally only one crossover point and it happens there at E, okay? So we would say the intersection between those is point E. You can write the word E or if you just wanna write a capital E, that's all you need, okay? Number two, this is a union. Okay, the union combines the two things together. Okay, so let me go back uh, to my original diagram here since I've marked this up. Um, so my original diagram, I think I had something kind of like this. It was A, E, B along here. And what do we have? B and C and D in the other two spots. Okay, so the union of these two things, again, union combines them together. So anything that's part of either shape is gonna be in your final union. Okay, so I just trace everything. And watch your arrows. There's a difference between a segment and a ray and a line. And 
you need to be able to decide what kind of shape you're dealing with. So EA starts at E, goes out in the direction of A, and it goes on infinitely. Okay? ED starts at E, goes in the direction of D, and goes on infinitely. Okay? If I combine those two rays together, what kind of shape do I get? Well, that's an angle. Okay? Now, some of you might want to call that angle E, but remember, there's an angle E here, there's an angle E here, there's an angle E here, there's a straight angle that's an angle E. You want to use the three-letter naming. Okay? So I'm going to call this um, angle AED would be the name of that. Uh, or you can call it DEA. Okay? Um, don't call it angle E because it's not clear which angle E it is. Okay? Last one, ED intersect with BC. Okay? Um, ED intersect BC. All right, so I'm going to trace ED, looking for the overlap between these two things. Now, on the surface, you say, well, BC, that's a line segment that goes from B to C. I don't see that, okay? Just because it's not shown in a picture doesn't mean that I can't talk about it, okay? We all know where the line segment is that goes between B and C. It's this line segment right here, okay? Starts here, ends there, okay? You can draw it. If you notice, this never overlaps that, okay? So there is no intersection. You can say there's no intersection. Sometimes we use, uh, we use like empty parentheses. It's called an empty set. You can write like that. Um, this is supposed to be braces. Ah, don't draw braces well, but anyway. Um, but sometimes it's called the empty set, or you can say no solution, or you can just say no intersection, okay? Um, two more things. I want to come back to that top one. I want to do one other. Um, another classic intersection situation would happen if you have a straight line. Um, let's say I've got a straight line and I've got points A, B, C, and D. And let's say I want to find the intersection of AC and BD. Okay? Same kind of thing. Trace under diamond. AC goes from here to here. BD goes from here to here, okay? And if you notice, the red and the green are overlapping at point B, they're overlapping at point C, but they're overlapping all the way in between there, okay? This whole region in here, all of these points are overlapped, okay? And that's a line segment, okay? If you collect all the points where they're overlapping, that's line segment BC, okay? It's not a line. They're going infinitely. They're not overlapping forever going in both directions. Not a ray. It's a segment. Okay? So be careful with that. Last one here. Uh, the intersection of XY and YX. Um, you can only use a, a, a name for a point once. Okay? So if they're talking about ray XY, maybe you would do an X here. It's going off in this direction here. Maybe you call that Y. Something like that. Okay? The union with YX... I can't make like another y, another x somewhere else. I have to use that same y and x, okay? So ray y, x starts here, and it goes off in this direction, and it would continue infinitely there, okay? Notice I put the arrows on the ends, okay? Both of those go on forever. They're not stopping, okay? Now, it's really important. Is this a union, or is it an intersection? This is a union, okay? So everything that's part of x, y, that's this point going on infinitely out, including that endpoint that goes on forever. Yx starts at y, goes out in the direction of x, and it goes on forever, okay? Anything that's part of either one of those, that's all part of a line, okay? The answer here would be line yx, okay? And by the way, another good question would be, what's the intersection between those two things? So for example, if you drew uh, ray xy, So ray xy would start at x, go out in the direction of y. Ray yx would start at y, go in the direction of x. And you can see here the overlap in colors would just be that line segment xy. Okay, so just scratching the surface here, we're going to do some other activities to practice this. But the idea here is you're going to give the name of the geometric figure created, either where the shapes overlap, intersect, or where the shapes are combined, united, the union, okay?
Hope that makes it a little bit.